Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, me to Reagan Revord about Young Sheldon on CBS. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk to you. I'm excited to chat with you. I mean, time time just like flows like flies by, doesn't it? I mean, it's six seasons of playing Missy. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy because like now that like we're syndicated and stuff, you can go on the TV and there's like the pilot playing, and I'm like, wait. I'm, I love to refer to myself then as a little mouse because I honestly sounded like a little mouse. And it's really, it's it's insane to see just like the difference. All the time I was nine years old and I was like, I'm so old. And now I'm like turning 15 and I'm like, I was, I was a baby. <laughs> I was a baby. Do you see the big kind of differences with like season one to three Missy and season like four, five, and six? Do you see the big differences in terms of just kind of the growth of her relationships with her brother and her family? Like there's a kind of lot of like things specifically. Obviously, there's the actual like physical growth of the characters, but the like arcs as well grow as well, right? Yeah, I mean like you really do watch her grow um like in the beginning it was just like she was just like the sassy girl of Sh like the sassy sister uh to sheldon yeah and she was nine years old and she just like made just like sarcastic comments and was like the comedic relief and stuff um but now like you know she's older she's in middle school and she like you see all these layers to her as she's dealing with like you know, school, yep. school can be in place. And she's like dealing with that. And you can kind of see like all the emotions that she has as she's getting older. Absolutely. It's interesting too, because I can't even imagine how, like, I feel like every season, because no matter how, like, if you're on a set for one time or a thousand times, I feel there's always going to be learning experiences with all these characters and everything. I'm, I can't even imagine how many learning experiences there's been with, with with you playing Missy on Young Sheldon. Is there any kind of ones that kind of stand out, specifically learning experiences-wise, like in regards to acting, the craft of acting? Um, I So, like, whenever I... I mean, like, definitely. Like, whenever I started acting, basically the main thing about acting was, oh learn the lines you're fine I was I mean I started acting whenever I was uh little I got on the show and I didn't really have any like acting training almost I didn't really have like a technique um but like now that I'm older and like I've I mean I've worked with such amazing actors like you know the Andy Pot, like <sighs> the legend the one and only um, like I've learned so much from her and just like my cast members that like surround me like on the day-to-day -day basis I've learned so much from them and like now compared to like whenever I was nine I go and like I read the script and I'm like think about how to approach it and like the different ways that I could say a line and not even just the lines itself but like the reactions and like, if I do it this way, this way, how will it translate to the audience and stuff like that? So it's just like, like uh, just doing a scene. I feel like is so different. Just like the layers that it can have compared to whenever I was nine. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Because I do feel like one of my one of my favorite things about young Sheldon, and I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I'm wondering if you talk about this with your family and your cast and everything, because one of my favorite things Reagan, about this show is the genre bending components of it. It's got so much. If you think about it, it makes you laugh. It makes you cry. It makes you think it's got those moments where it's really kind of, you know, pushing the limits in terms of, you know, sometimes it gets situations where it's like funny for the first 15, 20 minutes and then it's not funny at all. You know what I mean? So what, do you notice that genre bending component of young Sheldon as an actor on it? I mean, I think yeah. that's like the reason people like it so much is because it's relatable because it shows the, it shows like the true ups and downs 
of a family. And like like you said, there's funny bits, there's sad bits, there's parts where everyone's fighting. It's like it really does show like the true dynamic of like your just typical family. Yeah. Speaking of that, it's a great segue to my next question. I mean, the Coopers, the chemistry is so amazing and everything. What is it like working with everyone in the like the Cooper household specifically? What's it like working with everyone, including Annie, in that regard? And what's it like kind of being on set with them and like the riffing back and forth? Like, what's that experience like specifically with the Coopers? It's, I mean, it's like having, it's like hanging out with your family all day. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And like picking on each other, a lot of banter, but then hugs. It really is just chaos, but it's so much fun. It really does feel like having a second family, and it's nice to like, like have like this group of people that you know that you like that you trust and you know you can confide in them, and that like you know you can always go to for advice, even not just in the acting world, but like just. You know, growing up on like on a set, like Ms. Zoe, she grew up on a set as well. So she understands like the child actor stuff. So I'll go to her and ask for advice and just, you know, being 15 and stuff. I'll go to them and be like, hey, I have a question. And and the, yeah. and they're all like offer a helping hand if I need it. So it's nice to be surrounded by people you know are there for you. I mean, I'm, I, you can answer this like you know first couple seasons of the show or you can answer it's just like last couple of seasons i mean what are those conversations like also with like you said you know missy you know the sassy sister but she's very protective she's there for her brother and everything what are those conversations with the writers directors and showrunners about missy specifically and young sheldon because we knew about her a little bit about big bang theory then we kind of got to meet her in the show is it was it talking about kind of that balance that she's like sassy and kind of sometimes rough around the edges but at the end of the day she really cares about her brother is it stuff like that specifically um i mean she i feel like whenever missy was in the big bang theory she wasn't as much, such a prominent character that you got to learn every angle of her. Mm -hmm. I used to kind of be able to make it my own. And so I was able to kind of, I was able to kind of create Missy. Like I watched clips of like, you know, older Missy to kind of see how she was. Yeah. Also able to add my own take on the character as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's interesting too, because you know, the show really kind of dives in. And it's funny because, you know, even before Young Sheldon was announced as a show, I remember thinking about, wow, like, Sheldon's family's brought up a lot. We see glimpses of them. You know what I mean? Like, I actually remember talking about this with my parents. I'm like, maybe there's something there. And then, like, a couple of months later, it was announced that they were doing a prequel. I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, that is a thing. That is a true story, Reagan. I swear, that's a true story. Um, <laughs> but, um, I mean, getting to that, I mean, you're. it's funny because, you know, it launches and it's like a prequel of like one of the most popular shows on the planet. It is one of the most popular shows on the planet right now. Like, isn't it, isn't it crazy to think about that a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's crazy because like, you know, you're, you don't really think about that. It's like you're like, oh, my God, I'm having so much fun with, like, the cast and stuff. But then, like, so before COVID, we would do press tours. Yeah. Um, and we, we went to London. We went to Australia. And that was so much fun. And it was shocking to see, like, how many people would come up to you and be like, oh, my gosh, I love the show. Like, me and my family watch it every Thursday. And we love it so much. And I'm, and it was crazy to see like how many people actually watch the show. Because whenever you're filming it, you don't really think about that. It's just like it's like a little bubble. Mm -hmm. And think about how how many people do sit down with their families on Thursdays and watch the show. It's so crazy. It, it it's crazy. I I, I want to talk to the people who because I know there are some people that have done this. I've seen this on social media before, where you know they've watched Young Sheldon first, then they started Big Bang Theory. Have you heard of that? Yeah, there's some people that are doing that. I I never watched The Big Bang, so um, but I do think that that would be cool. 
because it's like you kind of get to see where it all started and then you can me and then you can search for those little easter eggs maybe right it's like oh yeah <laughs> it's like watching the hobbit before lord of the rings pretty much um this is just kind of getting back to it as well you know about playing missy i mean is there something specifically because it's six it's six seasons now playing this character is there something you love love the most about this character like compared to others specifically, or is it a combination of a lot of things? I I love it whenever, because you know, like most of the time she is like a sassy, sarcastic character. Mm -hmm. And I love it whenever you do get to see the bits where she is like protective of her family or is there for her family. Um, like the part, the part like in, it was either end of last season or beginning of this season where she was like almost taking care of Mary whenever yes. they had like their little rift. Mm -hmm. And it was so cool to see her kind of be there for her family and kind of hold them together, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's also, in, it, just getting back to, you know, when you're talking about the, when I asked you about the learning experiences, you said like working with like Annie Potts, like working with actors like that, that's like a learning experience on its own. It's like someone asks you, oh, you go to an acting school? And you're like, yeah, I go to the school of Annie Potts. <laughs> I'm around Annie Potts every day. <laughs> oh, God, that's too good. Um, Reagan, thank you so much for joining me on Pop Turn. It was so great chatting with you. I had so much fun. It was so nice talking about the acting school I've gone to. <laughs> it is, but it, it is crazy because you probably don't even think about that at all. Like you probably get, you wrap your day and then you're like, wow, like just, it's pretty crazy to think about. Crazy because it's like, it's like you're around, like, like you're around Annie Potts. Mm -hmm. Seems like, like, you know, she's so like down to earth and so amazing and then, like, you go and you watch her in, like, Toy Story or something or in Ghostbusters, and you're like, she's a legend. <laughs> yes. And it's so crazy to think about. Like, she is, like, she's just she's just Annie to me. She's just Miss Annie. And then, like, you go and, like, like my, um, like, I'll help people be like, how is it working with, like, the Annie Potts? I'm like. She is the Annie Potts, and I, I, I forget that because she is just, she is just. It's Annie. She's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny also very quickly for a wrap up too. You mentioned the syndication and everything, which is crazy. The clips and the memes and the gifs and everything. It's crazy that you can't really escape the young Sheldon clips, right? Like they always pop up. Like. My friends will text me and they'll be like, oh, hey, I just saw you on TikTok. Or, hey, if my friend has sent me a meme of you. And I'm like, what? Facebook, they always, the clips always, it's it's a very clip-worthy show, though. It really is. Thank you. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for doing, oh, sorry, what were you going to say? I was going to say, it's really funny. Like, my friends will be like, hey, my friend just sends a gif of you. And I'm like. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so crazy. Reagan, thank you so much again for coming on the show. Seriously, it was really great chatting with you. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. No problem. Um, Thursday, CBS, you know, Young Sheldon. It's crazy. Already season six, which is nuts. Um, and your Instagram account is just your name, right? Yes. Just Reagan Revord, right? Awesome. So you can check out that as well. Well, this has been Pop Turner. You do slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Reagan Revord, who plays Missy and Young Sheldon and Petey Beats. Signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.